okay guys so to start off with we have to create a basic sketch for the hair so with that i'm taking soft airbrush and take your base color now it doesn't really matter it shouldn't be perfect at all i'm just placing this layer just above the head so that we can also you know create the lines for the hair that are coming on the face and i'm just creating this basic sketch for the hair like this make sure the lines are you know curvy so just to kind of interpret those type of um, curls i hope that makes sense now once you have that basic sketch and you are happy with it just create a new layer and place it underneath the layer where you have the face and now just pick up this brush called bonobo chuck in sketching um, brush set and start shading the whole shape with this brush also with the base color that you have now you can use softer brush if you want but this brush goes really well with this type of hair and now once you are done with that just create a new layer again just above the head so that we can paint the parts that are coming on the face and just go ahead and paint those as well as i'm doing right here and once you are done with that as well create a new layer now this time go inking and pick up dry ink as the brush now pick up a darker shade as compared to the base color now we are going to be creating those hair strokes and also i'm keeping the streamline up to 25 percent you can also use technical pen if you want to but i'd suggest using dry ink it works best and these are the directions you have to create the curls in and yeah i hope that makes sense so i'm just going to start creating those coiled up curls like this making sure the direction as i just showed you with the arrows and yeah just keeping that direction in mind start adding these hair like strokes um, all over the hair all over the base that we created and don't worry about it being perfect just now so just try to fill the whole hair with these types of curls also also draw some curls over the face as well just to kind of blend it with the head as well so that's what i'm doing here now once you're done with that create another layer now this time pick up even darker color than you used earlier and yeah um you can also play around with the size of the brush you can either you know increase the size of the brush or decrease it according to your liking so yeah that's what i basically did and i'm adding more and more hair strokes over the ones that i just added and yeah these curls are really simple to draw as you guys can see i drew some of these on the face as well I keep filling it in and once you are happy with that just also make sure to add some hair on the outer parts of the whole hairstyle or the whole hair as you guys can see i am adding these flyaways or these really baby kind of hair just outside um, the whole hair just to kind of blend in or just to make them look a lot more realistic now once you are done with that what you want to do is you want to pick up blending tool and i'm using soft airbrush as my blending tool and then you just have to lightly go over these hair like strokes so wherever you have drawn those hair like strokes just make sure to go over them really light handed with this blending tool you don't really have to blend it all out just go over them really light handed so yeah that's what i'm doing here now just go back onto the layer where you created the base and enable elf lock and pick up black color now it depends on the color you're using for the hair so just use a dark color and using the soft airbrush i'm just going to add more shadows to the base and as you guys can see i added some around the jaw and also over the head as well just a little bit now once you're done with that just create a new layer and add clipping mask just create that layer just above the layer where we created the base and then pick up a really light orangish or yellow kind of color also change the layer mode to soft light and add this yellow color um, wherever you think the light should be hitting or just keep in mind the light source of your painting now what i'm doing here is i'm just gonna um, decrease the opacity of this layer now it's up to you if you 
like that look but I just like to decrease the opacity just a little bit and once you are done with that just create a new layer just above all of the layers that you have for the hair and pick up the color from the hair now it can be darker it doesn't really matter and then you have to pick light pen from luminance brush set making sure the size is not too big just start drawing these hair like strokes once again just over the whole hair now what this is gonna do is this is just gonna make the whole hair look a lot more realistic and only add these hair strokes on the upper part of the hair i hope that is making sense so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also also just just to revise all the steps just comment down below all the steps that i mentioned in this video now this is just going to help you memorize those steps and help you will help you in the process of drawing hair and yeah other than that if you create something out of my tutorials and tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well other than that i will see you guys the next time